Hi folks, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here I'd love it if you subbed and stayed. Here we go, part three. In her house on my way to work. And um, look to see if they had moved because I knew it wouldn't last. Oh, well, that's cool. I mean, you know, then you know you're watching someone fake and that's fine. Like I, I, there are sometimes some, I watch certain people that kind of bug me. I do, but I, I never comment. And then I get tired of them. I'm like, why am I watching this person? And I say, wow, I don't have to watch them. And I use some self-control and I don't watch them. Because you know how you like to get, like, it's kind of like watching the housewives. They're so aggravating, but you kind of want to watch. Oh, there's the twitchy eye. You haven't got a twitchy eye. And one day you say you comment and the next day you say you don't and then you say you did it at the beginning when you were stupid and new and didn't know. Whatever suits the actual occasion, huh? Oh, um, you've been distracted with your hair. What's going on with your hair? Are you growing it? And to who just asked, who is Shawnee? Like, are you brand new to my channel? Because if you are, then I would suggest you go back to, let's see what video, maybe my first video that I ever did, which was like eight years ago and start watching and then you can catch up. Rude. You have a lot of, you have eight years worth of videos. Eight. All you have to say is Shawnee's a friend that's no longer a friend. If you're that interested, you can go back and watch some videos. Rude! Hundred and something videos to catch up. You, you still have your what? Hi, Audra. Rose, I, I, I lost track. Look, that would be cute too, right? <clears throat> oh my god I don't know just like people baffle me I, I, I don't know that you're an old lady how would I know you're an old lady who's Shawnee so what, what how do you answer a question like that you come into someone's video you make a comment you say Shawnee was a friend and is no longer a friend. How difficult is that to answer a question? Who's Shawnee? She was a friend of mine, but she isn't anymore. Move along. You make such a big deal out of nothing. Comment saying something about your granddaughter and then you ask some obscure question who is Shawnee obviously you can't extrapolate who Shawnee is like it's obviously a person that I am having that I that was a friend that I'm talking about maybe just sit back and watch the keyboard it's not a necessity to type and I have no idea how old you are. You could be a 14-year-old boy acting like a troll on here. So just go. Bye-bye. 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 That's what my boss says at night. Also, he makes me laugh every day at work. Who's your boss? Who's your boss? Um, my boss is John. That was the dumbest question. You're a vile woman. Go. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Now you can't, now you can't type. Knock ma, nai, mucha ma out. Really? I'm a pain in my neck shaking my I head at tired. her. tired, thanks. Timothy, you're never supposed to tell anybody they look tired. I'm not wearing makeup. They came out great. 
I'm a vile woman, then why are you watching me? Go! Push another channel. Thousands on YouTube. You're going to sit there and watch a vile woman and type on your little keyboard. Now all the haters, she's mean to her, her subs. No, I'm not mean. Tiffany, am I mean to you? Audra, am I mean to you? Ask cherries. <laughs> That's a good one. Extrapolate. Oh, I'm using a big word. She's probably like, what? It's a big word that she learned and she uses it every opportunity she gets to try and make out that she's intelligent, but she's thick as shit. I'm not, I've never been mean to you. I would never be mean to you. Don't say stupid shit. Don't say stupid shit. Don't do su stupid shit. I'm, I was vile to her. She was vile to me. How was she, she vile? Was stupid. Like that. Was How is that vile? Who's Shawnee? Pushing a button on purpose. Selena. Okay, so what if you're there screaming, Bella, stop it. What if somebody says, who's Bella? Not sure if it's a cat or a dog. Would you lose your shit then? Is everyone supposed to know everything? And then when they do know things and they say that they know it, you say they're weird for knowing that. So, Selena, really? Sorry, I said Timothy, Sherry. I know, I wrote you back. I think I wrote you back, Sherry. Uh, you wrote me an email, right? I wrote you back, or... I know, I know you always put the little bow. And whoever wrote that, Shawnee's living her best life. I have land I want to sell you. Swamp land in Florida. Call me. I know. Oh. <laughs> talk some more about how much you like you're on my channel i'm on my channel i can talk about whoever i want to talk about i'm not on her channel you are watching me do you understand how fucked up that is of you you are watching me and saying shawnee is living her best life okay good i'm not I am not living my best life. I'm going to be on the Shawnee train for a long time. So either come on board or get off at the next stop. Selena. Yeah, Selena. There's a little bit of brown in your nose, Selena. Not like all them morons you've got sat there kissing your big fat ass, though, huh? comes over to my channel watching me you sad pathetic person no shawnee's not smart enough to pick and neither am i honestly people think oh it's Lori making it i don't have any other i don't i don't have the time for that and i don't need to i tell it like it is i don't have to stand behind a fake name I guarantee you, Shawnee does not know how to create a fake user. This is some pathetic person that either likes Shawnee or, I mean, I have to uh, think she obviously likes her, so go to her channel and support her. Right now, you are supporting me. Your view right now, the longer you watch, is supporting me. Cha-ching! Cha-ching. Bye. How do you know they're actually what oh, they are? Ignore me. <laughs> there we go. Bella, stop. Leave Bella alone. Ah. Uh, bugger off, whoever you are with your What did you food. find? That better have been food. Everybody's going to get to sleep with mommy tonight. You're going to get a treat. You're going to be under bed. You're going to be under. You're going to be. That's mommy's sock. Come here. She turns around. Look. Oh. 
she brought over my sock, which has toast on it. It's Pom Pom Langer. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi. Tomorrow, interestingly, that you ask, Linda, Burke has a paper due. He's taking an art history. Aw, oh, Sherry, I like the um I like the little things that you put at the end. Burke is taking art history uh in college and I actually loved sorry I'm burping. There we go. Narcissist 101. Burke's doing art history. Oh, I actually loved doing this, that and the other. It's like when I lived in North Wales, I had a beautiful neighbour and my mother came up for my son's christening. I think that was when it was or his first birthday. And the neighbour said to her, oh, Julie's doing really well learning the Welsh language. And my mum said, oh, everyone tells me I'm really good at languages. I loved art history. I know... Um, at the time, I didn't know I was actually learning something, but, you know, I can look at paintings and know that's a Monet, that's an Erte, um, that's Van Gogh, you know, s some of them. So, by the way, it's not Van Gogh. It's Van Hoff, actually, if you'd bothered your ass to find out how his name was pronounced. Um... He is a paper due, so we're going, he asked me, because uh, we're working on our relationship, so he asked me if I, what, what are you doing tomorrow? I said, uh, nothing really, I don't, didn't have any plans, you know, other than laundry and whatever, and he said, do you want to go to the something museum with me? I don't know which museum it is. So I said, yes, so that's what we're doing, we're going to a museum. And then you're going to spend the entire time talking over him if you actually bother your hole to go at all. And telling him all the things you know and how clever you are. And we have to pick. He has to pick. He, he gave me his computer, which had the assignment on it. He has to pick a piece and uh, write. A See that we have to pick. No, it's his assignment. It's nothing to do with you. Certain paper about it, three-page paper, double space, 12 time, times Roman, 12 font. Um, you know, the, remember those days? And, well, not really, because when I was in college, I had a typewriter. And I think it only had one font. Although the IBM Selectric, you could get these little round balls that had different fonts. So there was the italicized ball. Do you remember that? Do you guys remember the IBM Selectric computer, uh, typewriters? And then this is back in the day. Okay, so then like if you made a mistake, you would take a piece of this white stuff, stick it behind, <laughs> you backspace and type the letter. And it would write, like, like let, let's say you put M instead of N, so it would take out the M, like, because it would just type right over the M with it, a white M. <laughs> oh my God, it's so archaic. Hi, Charlotte. <laughs> it's so archaic. <laughs> I was trying to explain it. Like, I once read about Benjamin Franklin. He was a typesetter. I guarantee, um, you know, that was way before my time, but... Typesetter, not typed setter. And there are still typesetters today. How do you think newspapers are printed? Burke has no idea what a typesetter was. That that even before typewriters to do a newspaper they set print you know with with these those sorry my nose is kind of itchy here and i have to be really careful that i don't my little piercing well white out that's 
we still have white out. We have white. I use white out at work. This the rolling thing. I didn't know how to use it. <laughs> they had to show me. And so the I thought you were so clever, and you'd worked in offices, and you knew everything. <sighs> Elder guy there didn't know how to use it either. I gave it to him. He's like, "How do you use this?" Really. Anyways. My father had an IBM Selectric computer. Uh, I can't want to say computer. Hi, Marsha. Marcy, sorry. I was a good typist. Yeah, and so it had. We had all these balls, and it had a little flip at the top, and then you would put it in. It had a peg inside in the middle, and then you would take that round ball that had. It was like a serrated edge on the bottom and it fit on the round peg and the, the top black thing. I mean, I can picture this thing. It was a ball and it needed to go, <laughs> it made that sound. The three did feed the deer, return. The three did feed the deer, return. You know, you didn't have to go. But my typewriter at school was a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I took typing in high school. The three did feed the deer. The quick brown fox jumped over the fence. No, the quick brown. Well, okay, he did a good job with the nail curve. I mean, I'm really. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog is the line you're trying to think of. We didn't have typewriters when I was at school. So I actually did a typewriting course outside of school, paid to go. And the first night, more on that I am. You know, little fridges that only had a, a flip up freezer thing at the top. Well, I put my hand in to get something and these two fingers stuck in the fr and I'm screaming at my grand to get some water or something to throw in there so I could get my fingers out. And she didn't want me to get electrocuted or the house to blow up. Anyway, got out. I had the biggest blisters. So we were doing the basic, the very basic at the start, like the A, S, D, F, J, K, L, semicolon. So it was A, S, D, F, L, semicolon, because I couldn't use those two fingers for ages. Anyway, stupid story for people. I'm really happy with them, but if you look straight on, okay, this is so stupid, so first world problems, but... Why is that there? No. Now this one, better... The problem is because they're not long enough. When they, if they're lo if they were longer, you'd be able to see the arch more. Once the tip that I got grows out and it's my natural nail, they'll be they'll be better. But anyways, I needed them shorter. I did them coffin. I'm very happy with them. He did a great job. I never know what she's talking about about an arch. What, what does she mean? Is it from the back to the front or from side to side or what? She's always moaning. Never happy. Well, now you've learned how to do it, Lardy. Let's see how good you are, huh? It's better, you know, but like if I look flat on, I wanted him, I said, can you like, because if I did it, I would file down. I like it curved like that right anyways i want to talk about typewriters now <laughs> okay i want to talk about back if, in the day if i did it but you didn't do it because you can't do it because you didn't know how to and who looks at your nails from that angle anyway oh good fuck hang on a minute i need to move and that she'll wiggle the computer and then You'll be somewhere else. I'm trying to find my gloves, honestly. I spend my whole life saying, where am I? Oh, there they are. <laughs> uh, uh, now she's going to go on about when she was amazing and a personal assistant and how she knew everything about everything. <laughs> I worked at the Niels, AC Nielsen at one of my jobs, you know, Nielsen ratings, but this was their marketing, whatever, I don't even remember. Um, 
and the fax machine was the I don't even remember. If you had a good job, you'd remember where it was and what it was called. I can name every job I've had. It's funny, I was thinking about the very first one. Remember I said, I'm sounding like her now. I got this job when I was 16, receptionist, telephonist, typist. And it was at the British Computer Society. And I had a girl called Moya who worked on reception with me. So we'd do mornings and afternoons. And if I wasn't on reception, I was either in an office typing for somebody or I was downstairs sending out information to people. But when she used to answer the phone, it was the way she did it. And it used to make me giggle and she'd go, British Computer Society. <laughs> and it's like, why is the R so long? <laughs> but I can remember my jobs. Why can't you? Because <gasps> you weren't there long enough. Huh? Or they didn't exist this machine and then it had these two like cups and these two little rabbit ears in the front and so you'd call i'd call french's french's mustard french's and facts and i'd call and i'd hear dee, dee, and i would take the phone and stick it in the cups and then it would go it took so long to fax that was the fax. And then, oh, this was back when copiers you couldn't do. They didn't do two-sided. So if you had something, let's say you had something that had to be two-sided, it was one-sided, you wanted it two-sided, you would take the pile of papers and you would do, you take the first sheet and do the front and then you take the next sheet and put it down, facing down, okay? And then the next sheet, do the front, and the next sheet facing down. Then you would put them together, and when you put it in, it would copy it, because you would put in the first, the ones that were against you, I remember, you'd put those in and they would copy onto the pieces of paper. Then you would take those and put them in the drawer and then take your other set and put it so it would be do the backside. But I also was um, a... Is it just me or is she really shit at explaining things? That's how she learned it. They said, you do one there and then one down and then one there and then one down. <laughs> Student teacher and we did mimeograph. So it was on. Um... You were never a fucking student teacher. The lies. You had carbon. Remember carbon paper? And then with the crank. Classroom assistant, possibly. I'm making memories. I'm not a good mo I'm. I'm not a great mother. No, you're not. I have. I've done a lot wrong. All of it, I'd say. Well, aren't they still called the Xerox machine? The copier? I don't know. Oh, that's a make. I don't want to talk about my son, really. It's very... Ugh. Girl, why do you have to keep doing that? Where are we? One fifteen forty six. I won't remember. See, if I start talking to you, I'll forget where it was. <laughs> I have to keep saying it over and over in my head. Anyone else doing that? Ow! God's sake. My mother-in-law, guarantee it. Fucking voodoo doll. Or my mum. Or lard ass. One of the three. See, now I've forgotten. Is it 1.15? Oh, today? Come on.
See, this is what goes on behind the scenes. I was cutting all this out, but now I can't be bothered. <laughs> so you get to watch how infuriating it is. <clears throat> In the drawer and then take your other set and put it so it would be do the back side. But I also was um, a student teacher and we did mimeograph. So it was on... Um, you had carbon, remember carbon paper? And then with the crank. People still use carbon paper. I'm making memories. I'm not a good mom. I'm, I'm not a great mother, to be honest. I have, I've done a lot wrong. Well, aren't they still called the Xerox machine? The copier? I don't know. I don't want to talk about my son really it's very it's difficult we're trying though telecopy and cut and paste was that you cut and then pasted and my father used to do graphs when he was at work You, you mean you gave him up for adoption when he was a baby? And he would do graphs with red, and he had red things. Red, like, little lines to show that sales were up or sales were down. It's so funny. But Kathy, I don't think that that makes you a bad person. I think you, you know, we make decisions at the time in our lives that we make those decisions. So, uh, you know, this let, I'm going to make an assumption because, you know, there's a lag with this. So let's say you gave your son up for adoption because you got pregnant as a teenager and you felt that that would be the best for him and the best for you. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I also don't think there's anything wrong with abortion, if that's what you choose. You know, I might not choose it. I might have chosen it. That's neither here nor there. I personally do not judge somebody for I know, but I, we don't, we were working on it, but I don't, I don't want to talk about him. It's not that, I don't like some of the ways, I think he's trying to change, but some things are very bad and I don't like the, the person he is, is when he's like that. Um, it's called Teenage Hormones. It's a stage they go through. And you just have to ride it out. Talking of adoptions, I remember when I was young, I used to dream that one day my real mum would knock on the door and come and get me because they'd given me to the wrong person. And then I watched a programme and um, Ian Wright, the footballer, he said he did the same thing. He used to go to sleep at night, dreaming that his real parents had come and collect him. But you know what? You cannot make comments about his girlfriend because if you want to be in his life, he's older, I think, right? Then, I mean, like when Bert gets a girlfriend and married, whatever, I'm going to have to suck it up and be nice to her if I want to be in their lives. That's just how it is i know it's so like it's very upsetting i just wish he was a baby again it was so much easier <laughs> so much easier when he didn't have free will and could answer back but i was just responding to someone saying you're making memories i mean we have bad memories too you know but I 
I, I have so many friends that were adopted. I mean, I think there's always, you know, it's all, it's never, it's ne nothing is ever, I don't know, a, mil a million different paths we can take. Do they all lead to where we are right now? I can't keep up Miss Caddy right now. Um, I can't keep up with that conversation, I'm sorry. Not that I don't care, but it just, I can't. It's too much for me right now. Um, anyways, like, I think if my parents had moved into this other house that they were looking at when I was seven, my life would have been a whole different path. And yet, if you believe that you are where you're supposed to be, good night, Kathy, then all paths lead to the same place, which is here, because this is all. See, that's the thing. If you think you're where, ha, 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 you're where you're supposed to be, why the fuck am I here? I ask this question quite a lot. It's like me and my husband. I'll say, all right, you know, God has a plan. There's a point to it all. But what's the fucking point? Twelve years now, sat in the same room. Surely to God, by now, I've done as long as I need to do in this room. I've learned whatever lesson it was you shoved me in here to learn. Why am I still stuck in here? I don't get it. Makes no sense. And then other people, like Lisa, oh, it was raining and I had to suck it up. You know, that's the worst their day gets. Having to go out in the rain. Anyways, I said I was only going to be on for a few minutes, and then I'll oh, look what I did. I look tired because this is what I look like when I don't have makeup. And I've been rubbing my eyes, and I never, I went out, did my nails, did ugh, grocery shopping. Grocery oh. shopping, really, did Here, you? I'm going to get up real close and show you my Carl Malden nose to all those that don't like me. I don't rethink the past. Hi, pretty Gucci kitty cat. What are you doing, Gucci? Come here, baby Gucci. Come here, kitty. Right. No, 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 no. Come here. Oi, oi, oi. Look at this monster. Look at him. Okay. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Ah! He okay. hates her. Look at everybody. Stop holding his face like that. No, come on. I love you so much. Your mommy's kitty, kitty cat. Oh, the way she grabs his face. Yes, the way she has her thumb on his throat. Shame he wouldn't do that to you. This cat loves mummy, right? You love mummy. You love mummy. Yeah, of course he does. You can see it, can't you? When I look at you, I'm looking at the inner Lori. What does that mean? I talk all day long. All day long. In a loud, annoying voice. Oh, you can hear the rain? It's pouring. Wait, I just want to show the haters my nose one more time. <laughs> I'm so sick. Look at my pink. Maybe if you're lucky, my eye will twitch and you can... Or maybe I have a booger in my eye or my nose. Something ugly that you guys... You can comment on that and that. 
Oh, oh, look, look. Here, here, I'm giving it to you. Oh, or this. Oh my God, this is so disgusting. Look, haters. That's what it is. She, she is so disgusting. <laughs> like you're watching. I love it. You're watching. I don't even care if you're watching on here. There's another way you can watch that I don't get anything. I don't care. You're watching. You are making me relevant. No, I not. love it. I feel so wanted, even if it's negative. I'm not talking about like I do care. I get I'm very sensitive. Oh yeah, my god, I get hurt are. very easily, but not by people that I don't know. Right? Because they're all so perfect. Do you hear it? Oh, I don't want him driving. They're all. I think to myself. So they have perfect noses. Are their noses not growing for the rest of their lives? Oh, I knew. You don't want him driving. Why? What if he goes and lives somewhere where it rains most of the time? Is he never supposed to go out again for the rest of his life? What you meant, Marilyn. I am a good person. Thank you for noticing. No, I am she a good, I isn't. Am a really good person. Really, really good person. Mm-hmm. Tank top. I'm not a good person. Show yourself. You have to. I like doing these because it brings out the people. Can you hear it? It is pouring. <gasps> that was the thing I was watching. I probably said this already. I seem to, unless I told my husband. Anywho, I was watching a program called, uh, was it Pop Icon or something? And it was Jason Derulo and they were picking someone that he was going to sign to his record label. Anyway, he was there one day and he went, it's pissing down rain. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're Englishing you. <laughs> it's funny. And look, his manager, Frank, somebody went, it's it's what? And he went, pissing down. That's right, isn't it? Pissing down. Yeah, it's pissing down. <laughs> I know. I wish I had more, though. Keep letting it. Thank you, Keith. Oh, well, you wrote not. It doesn't feel relaxing. It feels scary to me because it's not like regular rain. They are not equipped for this, so everything floods. I can't even walk into my office. And my also, I then can't, like, I'm having a lot of physical problems. Hold on. I want to look outside. Are. I lift my underwear. <gasps> a few weeks ago, it thundered. And it literally shook the house so much that the lights turned on outside. To the trolls. Oh, right. I got it. Okay, so like, do you see how like, okay, this is like really bad. I look so ugly like this, right? By the way, in my video where I said I feel, I, I, I feel so ugly, I didn't say I am ugly. There's a difference. Haven't you ever felt ugly? It's okay. It's okay to feel ugly. No, I'm not going to text him. He's fine. I just have, you have to put that out of your head. There's no point worrying he's inside but i just want to show you everything don't go out no 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 kitty no no doggy soaked so don't leave it out there then oh it's raining I'll put some newspaper on the floor and I'll bring my outdoor furniture in so that it doesn't get wet and rot. Maybe if you'd bought proper outdoor furniture, it could get wet and deal with it.
Anyways, you know, I had written once to Dan because his girlfriend came by and told, called me a bitch and waited for me and walked her dog all the way over here and they don't live anywhere near here. Uh, they do. They live in the same fucking apartment blocks so she can walk her dog wherever the fuck she likes. <sighs> Come on, move it, move it. And um, so I wrote to him, I said, Dan, can you please... You know, I really, I don't want to have to get a restraining order, but I will. Because she walked past your apartment once. <laughs> who do you think you are saying who can and can't walk past? I've, done, I've been nothing but nice. Yeah, right, whatever. It's actually a patio because I'm on the first floor. I've been nothing but nice to you. I, I introduced you to Kevin and Shawnee and everything. And You're on the ground floor, not the first floor. Darlene is like threatening me. I don't feel right. And I don't, can you just, and she's watching my videos and commenting under an assumed name. Can you please ask her to stop? And he wrote me back and said, if you do not stop harassing us, which I've never written him before. Um, Way to go, Dan. Um, I'm going to hire a lawyer and sue you. You are a known thief. Yep. Yes, you are right, whoever that is, Dan, totally. But I made it very clear before I even met Darlene that to Dan, I would never date him because he lived here. But he, like, I had to be careful. He used to run his hands through my hair when I sweat and we were dancing. And he said, don't tell her that I ran my hands through your hair. Um, this was before I even met her. So yeah, she didn't like me be and because of that. She very, very threatened. You know. Do you think your cat might need something? He's been crying now for how long? And you picked him up and choked him and put him down again. Do you maybe need to open the pantry so he can use his litter tray or give him some food or water or something? Because otherwise he's never vocal. So why is he screaming at you? You know, even when I would say, I didn't know what she looked like and I would say to him, you know, well, she, he was like, I don't, I said, do you love her? Because he was like, she, want, she, she wants to be with me all the time. Sorry, guys, I'm looking for something. And I said, well, do you love her? And he's like, yeah, I love her. Yeah. I said, is she pretty? And he's like, I mean, she's not gorgeous, but she's not bad looking. That's what he told me about his girlfriend. Of course he did. And then she moved in. Because he's desperate. He's the marrying man. Oh, yeah. He is the marrying man. I'm putting you on top of my coffee maker. Um, but he didn't want to marry you, though, did he? So, yeah, you're right. I don't know who you are. I wish I knew who you were by that name, the Arabic writing... Persian, Arabic, it's Arabic. So ignorant, Lori. I wish I knew your name. Um, here's an idea. Google! Aren't you the one who said, ah, oh, I'd just Google it. Well, off you go. I met him in the hot tub. He never came on to me, and I knew right away he had a girlfriend, and to me that. Noir. Love that. And I never, I don't want sex bad enough that I go for married men. Lie, 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 and lie again. How many married men did you go with on the cruises, apparently? I just don't, you know, like, I don't want, nobody puts baby in a corner. <laughs> I just watched that last night and I'm baby really 
So I've had affairs with married men back in the day. I have. Uh, you know, when I was younger, I didn't care. I, I just was horny. And if I could get laid, I could get laid. But, okay, did you pee in his room? I will kill a dog. Seriously, kill a dog. Oh, hearts to bend down my sciatic nerve. Uh, but now, oh my, now I would never, ever, ever be with a married man. I don't know. Sex with the right person is amazing. Uh, excuse me, wasn't your G banger married? Faux show. But when I don't have that person, I'm fine. I know I just watched it last night, but I just watched with Jack Nicholson and Morgan Freeman, The Bucket List. I watched it. Very hard for me to watch movies because um, I'm, so, I'm so sensitive. It's true. And uh, I think I'm going to have coffee. Nine o'clock. I'm going to take a sleep until I'm still going to have coffee. So bad angle. Warning. Bad angle. Not too bad. This is my Schmati. Um, Burke, this is so old. I've had this nightgown for maybe 10 years. Um, my mother bought it for me. It was tight when she bought it. And uh, over the time I've lost weight. I have gained some weight. Don't want to talk about it too upsetting. Anyways, uh, this is my Schmati, which is a Yiddish word for a rag. And look, it's got holes. But Burke would be so mad at me if I threw this away because this is the epitome of Lori Beth Langer. This is me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think he's gonna, he'd want to have me buried in it, but I want to be cremated, so. My instructions are, let this show. Somebody, if I die, this is my, these are my instructions. I am to be cremated and made into a diamond and my son must wear me around his neck for the rest of his life <laughs> and keep my other ashes in an urn wherever he goes. You got that? Will somebody help my child out with that if I die tomorrow? I was actually looking at that, like if my husband went first, having him made into a diamond. What we've done, this is going to sound so weird to people with big happy families, but um, we've chosen pure cremation, which is a thing over here. And what they do is when you die, they come and collect you, they cremate you and they bring you back in a box. So there's no funeral there's no organizing there's no flowers there's no fuck all they come and get us and then they bring us back and it's in like a tub thing and it's got a pretty picture on it's not just like a cardboard box and i've told my son that when we're both gone if he can get to where we lived in wales and scatter us there if not scatter us somewhere but as long as we're together but I'm pleading with him. It's like, can you wait and not scatter me in the garden in this house? Because I fucking hate this house. <laughs> but yeah, it's because they're both autistic. A funeral and all that stress would be terrible for the two of them. So we've told them that's what's happening and they're fine with it. It's like when I was telling my son, I said, right, I've arranged this. And he said, is there something I need to know? And I'm like, no, I'm fine. It's just these are things you have to plan ahead of time. And he's like, right, okay. Anywho. What? What did you say? <laughs> I don't understand that. Okay, just, I need someone to go. Okay, Laura, we got you. Cremated, made into a diamond, around Burke's neck and in a vase. Urn. Thank you. There will be money set aside for it. I don't well, want to be married. And if I die... 
there will be money set aside for it, will there? You couldn't get your car out. You couldn't get pom-pom's teeth done. You can't afford to have a two-bed apartment. So how do you know there'll be money for your burial? You can, you can put Bella and pom-pom and Gucci to sleep as well. Because he will never be able to. Ugh. 133.49. So annoying. Was that half an hour? Shall I call it there? I'll do that. And come back and do another bit. Lord above. Got this far. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next bit. <laughs>